Hi, I'm Jeff King. Uh, today I've just been working on some uh, queuing, and so I just wanted to, you know, share with you uh, my thoughts on queuing and why you use them. Uh, so first off, uh, your typical web application, in my mind, kind of looks something like this. You'll have, you know, your web server um, where clients are making requests uh, to get web pages, or maybe it's like JSON um, from APIs, um, and then behind the scenes, you'll have um, a data store. Uh, traditionally, this would be like you know a SQL kind of database, like MySQL or SQL Server or something like that. More and more, this is turning into NoSQL. Um, but whatever it is, um, you will have uh, a data store, which actually is the persistent data, um, say like user data or um, product information, depending on you know what industry you work on. So a typical web request comes in. You have your web application on your web servers, and they call uh, data store. Um, so this is good uh, at small to moderate scale, um, but it really starts having issues um, with the World Wide Web as we know it today. So the first thing um, that we do a lot of the times when, when we're looking at a simple system like this and we want to introduce a queue uh, will be you basically have the same application. The requests are being made to it. Um, but when it's doing the writes of the data, it'll stick it into a queue. Uh, and then at that point, uh, later, it will be written to the database. Um, but your typical gets uh, will still come from the database. Um, so why you would do this is this really enables um, control over the actual writes to the data store. Um, a typical bottleneck, especially on the cloud, will be actually the data store. Um, it's super easy to add more uh, like web application nodes, so stand up more web servers. It's much trickier to create um, scalable data architecture. So we'll talk about that more in the future. So, but this is this is a typical pattern uh, that we see in the cloud, and so that's your web application uh, inserting into a queue, and then uh, inserting into the database at a later point. So I'm going to start talking about uh, the reasons why the queue becomes so important in later sessions. This is a really simple overview, just in application architecture. I hope you enjoyed. See you soon.